welcome back viewers so our question for today is are you teaching your toddler during their daily activities are they a part of the show or are they just watching it my name is Kelly Austin and this is teaching for tots where we talk about all kind of different things that you can do to educate your toddlers and the ways to educate your toddlers if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you like and make sure you comment below Tell me what you're, what you're working with for your child. Tell me how old your child is. Let me know if there's anything that you're concerned about. And if there's anything particular in the video that you like, let me know that as well. I would love to hear you guys' opinions and views. But let's jump into today's topic. Kelly, are they a part of the show or are they just watching it? What show are you talking about? No, we're not talking about teaching for tides. We're talking about life, that show called life. Is your kids a part of that show? Or are they in the audience? The reason why I ask that question is, is because it has a lot to do with teaching intentionally and educating your child on a more effective scale of education. What do you mean by that? A lot of parents do not know that they do not have to go out and do a whole bunch of shopping and budgeting for finances in order to include education in their child's life. You don't need a whole bunch of flashcards and books and workbooks and colors and crayons and a workboard and a whiteboard to go with. You don't need all that. You can start with your daily activities. Your child's daily activities has a ton of things in it that can help your child learn and that can boost their brain. And so let's talk about some of those activities. Some of the daily activities that a child go through is brushing their teeth, getting dressed. Is there anything like my kids? Meal time. I mean, we have breakfast. Well, really, we have snack and then breakfast, and then snack, and then lunch, and then snack. Oh, and then snack again, and then dinner, and then snack. And then that, this is your last snack at nighttime. <laughs> and then you have play time, you have cleanup time, you have bath time, and you, if you have girls, you probably have hair time. So these are all just some of the basic daily activities that your child goes through. And how are we using these daily activities? Are we maximizing this time? Are we using this time wisely? Are we utilizing this time to give our child a great head start in early education? Because that will tell you if they are either A, a part of the show, or B, they're just watching the show as a person in the audience. And a person in the audience is not taking very much in. But your co-star, a person that's a part of the show, they're taking everything in because they're front stage. And that's what we want our child to be. So today what I'm going to do with our video is I want to give you guys a couple quick descriptions and instructions on how to teach your child during their daily activities. And then the next part of my video, the end part of my video, is going to be some great examples for our visual learners. So I'm going to have actual videos of some of the daily activities that my toddlers do who are currently two years old and in 19 months. And we're gonna talk about, in the, well, I'm not gonna really do a lot of talking in those videos. It's really just gonna be a snippet clip of how I teach my toddler during these activities. All of the videos that we are gonna see at the end of this video is gonna be focused on counting and um, colors. That's pretty much what we focus on. Um, the whole point of the video is really to just give you guys a great opportunity to see and to hear about some of the daily activities and how you can maximize them. So let's start with mealtime. When my toddler gets up in the morning, the first thing he wants to do is eat. I have boys, so you know they want to eat all day long. Soon they get up, their stomach is growling and they're hungry. So that's the first thing that they want to do. But before we eat, we typically go ahead and get dressed for the day. Um, we may brush your teeth and all those kind of good things, wash your face and go ahead and get dressed. Now, of course, in these daily activities, they're learning the basics just like the audience at a show. They're learning the basics. They're learning to put their clothes on, their shirt goes on their head, their pants go on their bottom, the end. But like I said, there's two ways to do it. So you can A, take your toddler and you can walk them through this process. Let's pick out a shirt. What color is your shirt? What color is your pants? Do you have buttons? How many buttons? Do we have shapes on our shirt? Do we have characters on our shirts? Um, we can talk about our right arm, our left arm, our head, our legs, and not just our legs, but our right leg specifically and our left leg and the difference. 
when we get ready to put our shoes on, we can talk about how many socks we need. How many shoes do we have? What color are our shoes? What color are our socks? So that's a great way to just tie in numbers, colors, and possibly shapes. And if your toddler is like my toddler, who's two, you can advance this a little bit to talk about reading or letter sounds. So we, may, we are past the stage of talking about colors with my two-year-old because he's already reading. But what we do is we sound out these words. So we're putting on our shirt. Let's sound out shirt. What sound does sh shirt sound like it starts with? What letters do you hear in sh shirt? What sound do you hear in pants? Pants. 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 Shoes. Socks. What letters do we hear? So there's a lot of different ways to maximize um, this opportunity when your guys are getting dressed. But that's allowing your child to be part of the show. When your child is not part of the show, you just put their shirt on, put their pants on, pick them up, swift them down the stairs, and feed them breakfast. Now, I understand that sometimes we have to do that. But I'm just giving you guys some opportunities of ways that you guys can maximize their learning opportunities throughout the day without having to go out and do extra things in order to teach them. Next thing, meal time. So after we go down the stairs, now I've told you guys the the opportunity that you have on the stairs. I'm a big believer of any stairs we go down, counting those stairs, especially if you're working on counting. And it doesn't always have to be counting the Pacific stair. It can be, let's start at 20th count. So for example, my 19-month-old, my he can count to 13. But what we may do sometimes is we may start at a Pacific number and say, let's count up. Or let's count backwards. We know we have 13 stairs, so let's start at 13 and get to stair number one and count backwards. So you have to be a little bit creative, but that's what you have me for. So if you have any questions or you need any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Let's go to meal time. Now for my kids, what we do for meal time is we have different color bowls, forks, spoons, plates, and cups. And so we focus a lot on colors, shapes, textures, and counting during meal times. And we focus a couple on other things, but for beginners, that's what I would recommend is focusing on those things. And it's a great way to, to bring in colors and counting. So you do not just focus on one thing. You can really maximize that time. You can focus a little bit on colors of food. You can count food if we have certain things that we're eating. So like, for example, if we're eating raisins, we can count raisins. We can talk about the color of raisins. We can count goldfish if we're eating goldfish or animal crackers. And a really good goldfish is the ones that come into different colors because those we can sort and put in different places by their colors and then count the color groups. So it's just so many different things that you can do during meal time, which is lucky that we eat meals seven to eight times a day. <laughs> the next thing I wanna focus on is clean up and mess up times. Because if your toddlers are anything like my toddlers or my kids period, they're constantly dropping things and making messes in their play areas. So my 18 month old can climb on anything. And so he's having batteries, he be having toys, he be having remote controls. Um, today he had erasers and was playing with them, the big block erasers. And so the point that I'm making is, is when they make these messes, if I want them to be part of the show, I bring them in, I direct them into the way I want them to pick up certain things, and I may have them put those objects in baskets. I may have them put those objects in buckets. And I'm not just saying put it in that bucket. I'm going to communicate with them in a way that's effective, but it's also going to increase their vocabulary and also going to work on some colors, once again, some shapes, some sounds, some maybe letters, and it's just being really specific. So, for example, I may say, instead of just saying, pick up hawk, I may say, Isaiah, pick up the green hawk, or pick up blue Captain America, or pick up the red Power Ranger, or pick up the green block and put it in the red basket or put it in the blue basket. And these are just ways to not just communicate with them effectively and teach them to communicate. And of course, they're gonna learn how to clean up, which is one of our main skills for why most parents teach their kids how to clean up because they want them to learn to clean up. But you can go a step further by teaching them and reinforcing their colors and their shapes and their numbers that you already want them to learn anyway. So that's always a great opportunity as well. Another time, another activity that I would love to focus on today is bath time. Bath time is a great and a fun time to do education. It's so many things that you can talk about in the bath. 
body parts we can count body parts we can talk about shapes we can talk about colors i mean you can be really creative during bath time and it's great because not only is that child learning and their brain is being stimulated but you're also once again you're increasing their vocabulary when my two-year-old is out and he says certain words people are so surprised by the words that's in his vocabulary they're like how does he know what that is or how would he know to use that like for example just a very small example when he first learned the letter Q and I would say what is a word that starts with Q most kids may say most kids are gonna say Queen because that's the picture that you see in almost every single book or every single letter wall but he used to always say question question starts with Q and when people would hear him say that, they'd just be amazed that he just said that. Like, why would he say question? I'm like, well, first, question does start with Q. <laughs> but the second thing is, is that we want to build our kids' communication and we want to build their vocabulary skills. We want them to know efficiently the letter sounds. And we want them not to associate each letter with just a specific animal or animal characteristics or topic that they've seen basically in a book so like a for apple when a can be for so many other things like ant <laughs> you know i mean it doesn't have to be just for apple you know and so we want to increase that and so when we're doing things like cleaning up our messes from our toys we can talk about that we can bring that in what letter does iron man start with what letter do, what letter does spider man start with what letter does block start with you know, and so these are different things that we could talk about. What letter does ball start with? You know, and you can just increase it and work on it. And it's just a great tool to maximize your child during the daytime other daily activities. That doesn't cost any money. And it's things that you want them to do anyway. Um, during our videos, after I um, finish giving you guys a little bit of these instructions, I want you guys to watch these videos. I do want you guys to know ahead of time that these videos are gonna focus on colors and they're gonna focus on counting. But it's gonna be a few really good videos in there. I think I did two videos of them getting dressed, so you can kind of see that. I also did some videos of us down the stairs, some cleanup videos, and some snack time videos. Just to give you guys a little bit of opportunity to be able to hear and hear the language that I use in order to really communicate with my toddlers and really to get them understanding the things that I want them to remember and reinforcing our lessons for the day, like our numbers and our colors and our shapes and our alphabet and our sounds. So I really hope that this instruction today was really helpful. And I hope the visual videos of me doing it with my toddlers are really helpful. And I would love to hear back from you guys on how helpful these videos were. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you share, share, share. Because every parent needs these opportunities to be able to teach their children at an earlier time. Okay, early education is key, and we know that the mind needs it. So let's mold it, let's shape it, and let's make it great. And I'll see you guys on Friday. White shirt on, right arm. Let's put your blue and white shirt on. Left arm. All right, you got your shirt on. Let's get your blue shorts blue. Let's put your blue shorts on. Left leg, right leg. Right leg, good job. Left leg. Left leg, good job. All right, turn around. Let's go ahead and fix your shorts, your blue shorts. Do you like your blue shorts? Blue. Blue. Your blue and white shirt. Don't eat your blue and white shirt. All right. Good job, Gabriel. Baby shark. Baby shark. That's what you're saying. Baby shark. <laughs> Baby shark has on blue, blue and white today. Baby shark. All right, let's sit down. Put your shoes on. You want to sit down? Put your shoes on. All right, give me your right foot. Give me your right foot. Good job. Put your right foot in there. All right, give me your left foot. Put your left foot in there. All right, you got white shoes on. White. But the bottom of your shoe is blue. 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 Yeah, blue. Good job.
And let's tie this shoe too. This shoe is same. It's white. Yeah, but then you have blue, right? Blue at the bottom. But white on top. Can you point to the white part? Good white. job. White. Yeah. White. White. Very good. All right. Go ahead. Let's stand up. Yay. Stand up. You look cute. All right. That's it. You know how many buttons you have? One button, two buttons, three buttons, four buttons, five. Five buttons. Five. Good job. Let's count the stairs, too, since we're counting already. All right. One. One. Two. Three. Yes. Three. Four. Five. Yep. Six. Seven. Yep, eight, nine, ten, yep, eleven, yep, twelve, thirteen. Pick up that pinky eraser that you had. Thank you. Hand it to me. Give me the other pinky eraser. Gabriel, get the other pinky eraser. Do you see another pinky eraser? Pick it up. Give it here. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. All right, get the green hawk, put them in the red basket. Isaiah, go put them in the red basket. Thank you. Gabriel, come help pick up these toys. Isaiah, pick up the two red pen paws. Okay, never mind. Gabriel's going to pick them up. Pick them up. One, two. Put those in the red basket, Gabriel. Good job. Gabriel, you can leave the basket there today. Can you pick up those books and put them in the blue basket? Leave the basket there today. Pick up the books, put them in the blue basket. Gabriel, in the blue basket. Is this blue? No, this is not blue. Put them in the blue basket. Okay, you could have put them in there softer than that. But <laughs> pick those up and put them in the blue basket as well. Thank you. That was K L M N O P Q R S T W X Y Z. Good job, Gabriel. Good job, Isaiah. All right, can y'all guys quiet for one second so we have some snack? Do you... All right, what color bowl do you want today, Isaiah? What color is that? Green. Okay. Well, you're going to have this color, which is a new color for you. What color is that, Isaac? Orange. Gabriel? Fill it up halfway, Jojo. It's orange. Can you say orange? Isaiah, can you tell Gabriel what color his bowl is? Orange. It's orange. All right, you ready for your raisins? Yes. All right. Uh, All right. Let's count some of our raisins. Let's count our raisins over here. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Gabriel, you ate tomorrow raisins before we can get to five. All right. Is this enough water? Is it halfway? Let's count our raisins. Use your finger. Let's get your pointer finger. Get your pointer finger out, okay? So we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six raisins. Can you say six? Thank you. All right, go ahead and eat your raisins. Yeah, go ahead. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Very good. Seven. Let me check. Let me check and make sure that's what we have. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Seven. Are you counting your raisins as well? There's seven. Yeah, there is seven. Would you like more? Oh. I like more. Oh. 
Can you say please? Can you sign please? Gabriel, can you sign please? Do you want more? Isaiah, can you sign please? Gabriel, would you like more? No, no more. Okay, sign sign please, Gabriel, if you want more. Even though he does have a little bit more, you're right. I'm drinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Please. Please. Good job. Just to be able to stay tuned to the video. Make sure you guys watch the examples. If you guys have any questions, jot them down in the comment box. Hey, Kelly, is this a good idea to do for my toddler? Is this too early for them to do? Is this too late for them to do? You know, what's some great starting points? I would love to give you guys some suggestions. But more than anything, I want you guys to make the most out of your time. If you guys are already going to be getting up in the morning, getting dressed, eating snack, cleaning up, why not teach during that time? Why not help them focus on numbers, colors, shapes, and their alphabet, sounds, and recognition? So in the videos today, we focused on colors and we focused on counting. I will be doing a video on Friday as well, and that video will focus on shapes and letters. So stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you guys on Friday.